So it's a new world. It takes a new kind of leader. Here's your old kind of leader, <laughs> Mr. Burns. You know, this influx of data and information, it really has changed the way we do business. When you think about someone like Mr. Burns who sat in the corner office, and here I was, you know, at CBC, I had a corner office. You know, the idea was you're supposed to sit in that corner office, you're supposed to make those decisions on your own, and you're supposed to be very arbitrary about them. But we are in a data world today. We are in a business world that depends and thrives on information. And we are lucky because we get that information. We're the benefactors of information, not just floating out there, but coming directly from consumers and from people who are telling us what they want and what they do with our, with our, with, with our products and what they want to, how they want to experience our content. So when you're in a world where there's so much information floating around, it can't go to just one guy. It really does take a collaboration, not only within an industry like something like the wine industry, or not just outside of the industry like new media and old media. It takes that kind of collaboration within your business too. And so I think businesses have changed not just on an industry level, but also inside too in the sense of collaboration. It's no longer down to one guy to make the decision. It's now, it's now up to a group of people with a good leader. And that leader can very much be you sitting here as whether you're a leader of a project, whether you're a leader of a business, whether you're the leader uh, of a whole industry. It's the kind of leader that you become if you understand the aspects and understand the attributes that you have that you can lend to this. One of the most important ones is being a good listener. With all that information that people are telling you, like imagine now I'm on Twitter and like, and like you just said in your introduction, you're listening to people on social media as you build your products for the bank. You're actually listening and that's a good thing because there's information there. You can't ignore it anymore, that's at your peril. So if we have an opportunity to, to take a new form of business and be a new leader in that, in that business, that new leader better be a good listener, better be a good collaborator, and it better learn from the, the, the constituents and the industry around them. What gender do you think when you want to generalize, when you think about studies around who's a good listener? Who's a good collaborator? You know, who's, who's good with empathizing with people around them to understand what it is they want and to actually maybe multitask even once in a while? <laughs> it's women. And so I really think I made the argument that if business has changed, and it will continue to change, and it will change for reasons like the millennials coming on in the workforce, it will change because the baby boomers getting older. But as I say, it's also changing with all this data and information floating around. These qualities now of leadership have changed dramatically, and we are naturally born to fulfill them.